cooking process is done with a metal pot over an iron skillet at about 360 degrees. The main ingredients that we used are potassium nitrate, which is found in stump killer, and sucrose, which is sugar. We sometimes added iron oxide to add as a catalyst and increase the burn rate. Here we begin the cooking process, which combines the ingredients uniformly and forms the solid rocket fuel. Rocket fuel consists of at least two ingredients, which are A, an oxidizer, and B, the combustant, which is sometimes also referred to as fuel. The purpose of the oxidizer is to release oxygen when it is heated to allow the fuel to burn in small engines or in space where there is not enough oxygen for combustion to occur. Once the sucrose and potassium nitrate have been melted to the point of becoming a liquid, we are ready to pour the fuel into our rocket engines. The engines are usually made out of PVC pipe or tightly wrapped paper, which will control the burn and focus it out the nozzle, which will be explained later. Contrary to popular belief, it is not the jet of fire that comes from the rocket that propels it. It is actually the exhaust being forced out of a small hole, also known as the nozzle, that propels the rocket. The exhaust is the product of the combustion reaction that begins when the fuel ignites. Just in case our launch fails today, here are a few videos of some successful rocket launches that we have had so far. And now, here are some failed rocket attempts that we have had so far. Two, one. There we go. And burn a hole in the room. <laughs>